Hello and welcome back to Robotics for All Week 8, HTML CSS course. Congratulations on making it this far. You're officially HTML CSS masterminds. The last thing we have learned about is how we can put our website on the World Wide Web so anyone can see it. Our friends, our family, um, our parents, and only as long as they have the URL to that website. For example, if I were to type out the URL to my website, then I could, then it should be able to take me to that, to my personal website. So now how can we do that? In order to achieve this, we must do something called hosting our website. Now there are many places that allow you to host your website. And in other words, will create an own, will create their own server for your website so that you can use a URL that they'll, that they'll provide to you to open the website anywhere, anywhere, anywhere um, on your phone, um, on your friend's phone, family phone, anywhere. So now before we go on to this, make sure that you have parental permission. Um, because this website, because hosting website does put your website on the whole, um, with the worldwide internet, that means that it can be viewable from anywhere and there might be some privacy concerns. So before going on further, please pause this video and ensure that you have asked your parents and received parental permission to view your website. Now keep in mind that hosting your website should be perfectly safe because these websites that we're using to host um, have systems in place that ensure that your website is kept safe as possible. Once again, make sure that you have parental permission. Moving on, in order to host a website, we're going to be using a software called Neosities. So go to neosities.org, and I already have it right here. So go to neosities.org. This is a really simple place where that allows you to host your website, and you should sign up for an account. So put your username here, and the username is going to be the name of your website. Um, then you can ignore the tags, but make sure that you put in a password and an email. And finally, hit this confirm that you are human. Finally, you should create your site. Now I'm going to go ahead and sign in, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've finally signed into my Neosities account. And to ensure that we're, everyone's on the same page, we're going to hit this upper right uh, menu right here with the drop down and click edit site. Now on my page, I've already went ahead and deleted some of the items that was that should have been present here. In order to delete items, all you have to do is hover over one of these um, icons and click the delete button. Just for um, an example, I'm going to create a random file to show you how you can delete it. So I'll call this test.html and once again, hover over it, and if you want to delete it, click the delete button and delete your your file. Now, additionally, you can go to this list view. So click the list view right here, and it'll show you everything in the list, and you can delete it from there. This just makes it a bit easier to delete items. Now, here's the thing. Why don't we get try to open up a blank HTML page? Or, in fact, why don't we try to actually get our content, all our HTML files, CSS files, and pictures into here. So one thing to notice is that at the very top, you have your link here. And this is the link to your HTML page um, that will allow you to view your website from anywhere in the world, on your cell phone, on your computer, laptop, wherever. So why don't we start off by trying to um, import all of our files that we've created from REPL into here. Now, right now, I'm in REPL with my with my example project open. So what I'm going to do is click the three dots in the upper right corner and click download as zip. This will download your file into a compressed zip file, which is essentially a folder, um, but in a smaller form. Once you have downloaded your zip file, you're going to want to open your file directory and try to and locate your file. Once you've opened up your file directory, 
or your files app on your laptop. Um, what you want to do is extract that zip file and turn it into a folder. So in order to do that, you should right click and in this options panel, go to extract all. And finally, click extract. Once you click extract, a folder will pop up, which is essentially the extracted version of your zip file. So open up your folder. And once you open it, you can see that now you have all of the contents or all of the files in your REPL. And now we're going to learn how we can import all these files into Neocities. Once you've extracted your file and turned it into a folder, what you want to do is go back to Neocities. And once you're in Neocities, hit the upload button. The upload button will take you to um, your file directory. And once you've done that, locate your folder that you've just extracted. Now what you want to do is um, select all of these items. So you can hit control A to open to select everything and open everything. Now you can see that you have all your files here from your HTML files to your images to your CSS file. Now I will encourage you if you want to open up your CSS file and make sure that um, you have the correct one, you can do that. As you can see, if you just hit edit, it'll take you to your file and make sure that you'll, you should only have one CSS file. And so I'm going to go ahead and delete the styles.css because this is the wrong one and delete. There we go. And so right now, we're pretty much done. The last step is to open up a website. So at the top here, click RFA or click your link. And you can see that we have our website. So once you're in the website, you can go ahead and navigate it as normal. So we have music, food, important buildings, as well as your bibliography. And lastly, our little button which you can add your name and anything else you want to add about yourself. So there you go. That's how you can host your website on the worldwide internet using Neocities. Once again, remember that you should that you should ask your parents before you do this for privacy reasons. And once again, um, your website will be perfectly safe. These websites are built to be secure and um, will protect your website very well. But with that being said, you can now take your URL and share it with your friends and family and show off what an amazing website you've created um, using HTML and CSS. And um, yeah, demonstrate the eight weeks of work you put into your website. But besides that, um, I hope that you're able, you were able to follow this tutorial and host your website on Neocities. Um, one cool thing about Neocities is that you can actually edit your website directly. So if you want to edit, if, it's, if there's something wrong with your website and you want to quickly fix it, something, then you can go into one of the files that has an error. Um, um, for example, if I wanted to go into food HTML and click edit, I can now see that I have everything about this. But besides that, there's nothing more. Um, and good luck on your hosting website.